Hey everyone, Matron here, bringing you another StarCraft II commentary, this time one of my own games. Previously, I had been playing as Protoss, but I've been trying my hand on the ladder as Zerg. It's probably the race I'm second best at, so giving a whirl and trying to queue up playing around 2,000 to 2,200 players. Uh, I tend to go on losing streaks or losing binges as Zerg, and I try to win a few more games as Protoss to keep my rating my hidden matchmaking rating high so that I continue to play against uh, well high level competition as far as uh, my skill level is concerned and don't dip too low because I really want to learn the race against uh, very good competition I think it'll help me get better faster and if I dip down into uh, low diamond or high platinum I'm not sure that that'll necessarily happen so uh, I am going to be uh, doing a nine pool here on scrap station this is a build that has been done to me in the past I've played about 15 to 20 games as Zerg and ZVZ just very interesting to me uh, it's got a weird dynamic you don't make a lot of drones it's very difficult to expand uh, something that I guess all the mirror matches have their own uh, fine points to them but I am going to be trying to throw down a fast spawning pool here getting a little bit of pressure into my enemy's base uh, early on hoping to take down his drone count it had been effective against me in previous games like I mentioned he'll be going for a 14 pool and a gas starting that gas as soon as the pool uh, is there so he's going to be able to get speedlings out uh, as soon as possible but he will be able to see this nine pool and I guess he's uh, he's reacting to it there as the pool is finished I do have six zerglings on the way uh, and I need to get a queen out as well so these zerglings are going to be rallied into his base and we'll see how he reacts he does have his gas up but doing a good job not transferring any drones to it actually he is so I guess he's not very scared of my uh, zerglings at all and having a little bit of fun with them saying here they come so my six pack of zerglings are on their way looks like he is moving uh, a few drones into position perhaps to throw down some spine crawlers too in fact and he's getting very very high on minerals so his pool finishes right away he makes six lings and throws down two spine crawlers as well as starting a queen so dumping all those minerals my queen is actually almost complete so if I can start getting injects going uh, go inject then I can get ahead a little bit macro wise my zerglings are gonna make their way into the base check the uh, the drone count it is 12 to 10 I did take one down there so he's down to 9 and what I really want to do here is try to pick off some drones not lose these zerglings too early and I want him or I want to force him to finish these spine crawlers if he's able to clean up my uh, zerglings then he won't have to finish the spine crawlers and I want him to invest those minerals in the spine crawlers try to slow him down just a little bit so we see uh, coming out of that attack I have my two zerglings left He's got about uh, seven zerglings and two spine crawlers, but he only has eight drones compared to my 12. He has had to pull off of gas. He does have 100 gas, so he can get speed going uh, when he desires. And doing my best to inject and try to work on my economy a little bit here. So that was not as effective as it had been uh, previously, or at least against me perhaps I'm a little bit newer as Zerg than uh, this guy. I believe he's about 2200 hypno. Hippo Nitskesia. I'm just going to call him Hippo. And I do take the opportunity to throw down a Hatcher here. And I guess that's my nature as a Protoss player. Anytime I feel like I've uh, put my opponent back on their heels a little bit, I do try to throw down a uh, an expansion. And in ZVZ, maybe this is not the right move. I don't have much of an economy yet. Only 16 drones. Uh, and I don't have much besides Zerglings at this point. And it looks like I'm going to be going for a layer here, having to move that spine crawler out of the way. Did want to throw down that spine just in case he reacted uh, and brought a ton of zerglings into my base here. Poking up with my zergling, seeing his zergling count, seeing the spine crawlers repositioned here. Had a bad rally point, so this overlord's going to be uh, taken down by this queen. Not very happy about that. And those are some of the mistakes that I uh, seem to be making. You know, as zerg, every every race has their own. Uh, like I said before, small things you have to keep track of. An overlord placement, one of the things that I continue to get wrong. I do have an overlord placed in the back of his base, as I am psychap now, so I will be able to suicide in and see what his uh, his build will be. Right now, not showing too much. He is about to finish speed. He has pulled guys off of gas still, so just doing his best to drone up. But again, I'm ahead drone-wise. It is 16 to 21, and I do have a hatchery up as well can start a second queen here getting a little bit high on minerals 
So I do have two spines down, feeling pretty comfortable against any sort of uh, zergling pressure, and I am starting a spire. So I feel like uh, he's pretty behind at this point. He's got a lot of lings that he made to try to defend against my early push, and the nine pool was sort of like a feint. I uh, attacked with those initial six lings, took out a few drones, made him create a few spine crawlers, though I created the same spine crawlers, but a little bit later, so not too hurtful to my economy, and I was able to get up a hatchery. So he's got a large number of speedlings now moving across the field. I still do not have speed complete, uh, or even started on my end. So investing a lot into the extra hatchery here, not very well saturated as these two drones are going to be going down. And now he's going to get a surround on this hatchery. And at this point I have 14 zerglings on the way, but I do not believe that they will be done in time to help out uh, my expansion here. And it looks like it may go down, trying to kite them away from that hatchery a little bit. And then I want to try to time my defense here with these zerglings uh, with when the hatchery explodes. So I'm, I'm going to have some broodlings coming out and I'm going to try to get a surround on his zerglings as well. But he has speed and these broodlings explode and my zerglings are uh, going to have to retreat without speed. At this point I think I realize I need speed but I am spending a lot on a bunch of mutilus. So I have four mutilus on the field right now. One base muta, probably not my favorite build, but I did think I was gonna be on two bases. He is using this opportunity to get up an expansion of his own. So interesting timing. Uh, he, he feels like he has uh, control of the game at this point. I felt like I had control of the game uh, earlier on when I threw up my expansion. And now control is gonna be uh, a question here as I do have these mutilists out. He does have one queen out right now and a second one on the way, perhaps preparing for that hatchery. So I'm going to do as much damage as I can with these mutilists and I'm going to be uh, hoping to pick off drones and overlords at this point. Just four mutilists, not a lot of firepower and not enough in fact to take on these queens. So I'm going to do my best to uh, micro these mutilists away, do a little bit of damage against those drones, try not to lose any mutilists there. But now uh, he is definitely uh, going to be a little bit scared of my air forces here. Another two mutilists on the way. I'm going to try to fake them a little bit, acting like I'm going to the expansion. And now uh, going to try to take down as many drones as I can. See the drone count is 20 for me to the 23 of him. And I just took down uh, two or three there. And it looks like he is producing a ton of roaches. So roach is his tech of choice, very powerful in this matchup. And it looks like he's uh, placed a lot of zerglings here, hoping to try to deny my second. And I'm going to try to clean those up with my mutilus that I do have out. And this is going to give him an opportunity to throw up some spore crawlers. So he did have that evolution chamber perhaps prepared for that roach horn and some upgrades. And he's going to get three spore crawlers up here. So pretty soon it will be quite difficult for me to get into this mineral line and harassing these uh, drones. But I'm going to have to do my best at this point because I am behind. I'm now starting my hatchery as well. And he's going to do his best to uh, to defend here until his economic advantage can really vault forward. He does have an expansion up, not yet saturated. We see 20 harvesters to 19. And I'm coming in here trying to focus down this queen. Looks like it will be able to get it. And he's canceling whatever he had coming from those eggs, possibly drones. So it looks like he has uh, a lair on the way in the main. I already have my lair tech up. And I'm going to do a little bit of damage against the army here. Try not to lose too many mutilists. I do see those spore crawlers and not losing any mutas there. So I still do have my uh, seven mutas. and going to try to take down this hatchery. Going to do a little bit of attack moving. I want to be positioned on the left side of this hatchery in case he does come down there with the queens. Did not do a very good job of continuing creep spread here. So it's going to be a while before he can get down here. Looks like he's repositioning these spore crawlers as well. I'm working on my plus one attack as well as a few more mutas my uh, natural about to come up if we check the income tab it is 20 to 18 so again very low drone counts for both players and i guess something you definitely see in zvz you're spending larva on uh, army anytime they spend larva on army so as long as you're not too far behind your opponent it can be pretty pretty okay because he's getting up his second extractor here if we check the uh production tab it looks like i'm getting up another queen for my uh my main in fact so, not sure if I lost a queen there. It looks like I, uh, I just did transfer my one queen down to the natural. And now checking with these mutas, all the bases. At this point, I feel like he gave up that natural a little too quickly. And he didn't bring those queens down there. So I was questioning whether he had a third somewhere hidden. So I'm checking all the, uh, the bases I can. I have the island covered by this overlord. Um, and for now, I think that he's just on one base. 
So going to do my best to try to keep him on one base here. So you got some juicy overlords on the right hand side and he's going for mostly uh, roach here and it looks like he's getting a hydro den and an in base hatch as well. So once he gets Hydras out, uh, it's going to be easy to take down these Mutalists. So before the Hydras come out, I'm going to try to take down as many Overlords as I can. See right now, I am about to Psycap him as I take down uh, four Overlords very quickly there, and a fifth Overlord if I can get it. Yes, I do. And not worrying too much about the Spore Crawler damage. Uh, spread out evenly among the uh, all the Mutalists here, and I am able to Psycap him into production. Looks like he had seven or eight overlords coming, so having to dump a lot of minerals into overlords there. And I just want to keep him bottled up in his base. I do see that he has hydras on the field now. So the hydras and the roaches at this point are going to destroy my front wall. I don't have much in the, uh, the unit counting station besides these mutilists and then a few zerglings. They don't even have speed yet. So if we check the income, it is now 28 to 17. I've been able to harass him, taking down overlords. I took down another one there, and he is psychapped once again. So hoping to get my uh, economy up and rolling. Another two gas. I need to get saturated here and more injects. See this queen very high on energy. Again, just the macro principles of Zerg, so much different than Protoss. Str struggle a little bit to keep my injects, my creep spread going as well. But definitely did want to spread creep down here and positioning the spine crawler so we can't get into either base. And it looks like I'm now going to be trying to take on the spore crawler and find a way into the drone line. If we check the income count, it is 28 to 17 harvesters. He's used a number of drones to throw down extra buildings in his main, has not replaced them on his mineral line. So I do have about a double mineral advantage. And the gas, once I get these uh, two geysers up and going at the natural, I should be double that as well. I do know that he has these roaches and the hydras, so I'm going to be placing uh, overlords by the destructible rocks here. I want to know exactly when he moves out because uh, I'm going to have to make quite an army or try to make it pretty quickly there to take on what he has so far. If we check the army tab, it is 2225 to 1625. But remember, a lot of that is mutilus. I do have 14 uh, mutilus, so in fact, most of it is mutilus for me. And those mutilus not going to hold up against these hydralisks. Looks like he may be pushing out here, positioning a queen, and it's interesting, he has not decided to take another uh, a natural here, and I think once these mulas came on the field, and a few queens, he could have positioned these hydralists, uh, yeah, excuse me, hydralists on the field, could have positioned a few hydralists here, and protected a natural, and I feel like he's on one base for a really long time, we are at the 17.25 minute mark, so that's a long time to be on one base. But he doesn't have a very good drone count, so he's 17 harvesters, so not getting too low on the minerals. As he is pushing out, taking down the destructible rocks, I do see this with my overlord, which is about to be taken down here. And trying to move in and get a bit of a flank on the, uh, the forces as they reinforce, trying to take some free hydralis here, and trying to take down overlords as well. Not quite free as I do lose a mutilus. And just working my way into the main, want to get a good position on these spore crawlers, trying to do any sort of damage I can, and forcing him to move his entire army up into the uh, the main here. And at this point, I feel very good. I have him uh, kind of on a leash a little bit, using these mutilists to control his army. I do not want him pushing across the field, and it looks like I am getting up uh, a hive and getting up a greater spire as well. I have a few corruptors created. So taking another free overlord with those mutilists and keeping him in his base, I still have my destructible rocks up and getting down a third as well. So really using these mutilists, he's pushing out once again. I'm going to take on this spore crawler and try to make my way into the mineral line here, focusing down this roach warren. And it looks like I may be able to get that roach warren. He's down to 15 harvesters now. And again, pulling his entire army back, and I do not want him moving across the field until I can get a pretty good army uh, to respond to his. Again, it's just Zerglings. I did throw down a few more spine crawlers. perhaps need to reposition those a little bit. And just still using these same 14, 12 now mutas to try to control his, uh, his army. Again, he is in the main. He has no uh, natural and no third up at this point. So I'm going to do as much damage as I can. Just be annoying. Focusing down a few free Hydralis, pulling back. Once again, losing another Mutalist, but at this point, any amount of time I can buy myself where he's just on one base and I can continue to keep his army in his base, it's going to be huge. We see I just created about 20 Roaches, so I am going to be able to take on his army at this point. See, I shot ahead in the army counting station. As I do have this third, need to get it saturated as well. So it's now 3725 to 3400, and I do have these Mutalists. If I can focus down the Hydralists in any sort of engagement, then the Mutalists can go to town on these Roaches. 
Roaches and Hydras not upgraded, so not using that Evolution Chamber for anything besides Spore Crawlers. So I really need to get upgrades on these units if he is going to be pushing out here. Again, checking the map with these Mutalists for hidden expansions. And I'm really, uh, really confused at this point in the game why he's on one base. So I'm checking all the expansions, making sure he doesn't have something hidden. As I have been bitten by that in the past, he is doing a good job spreading Kree across the center here and getting close to those destructible rocks. So I do have my five Broodlords on the way. I wonder if they will be able to finish before he can push through here. So I do see him pushing. And I am going to try to uh, bring these Mutalists up here, picking off some free Hydralis, or perhaps bypassing his army. He does see the Mutalists, so he's going to try to retreat with his Hydralis. And at some point, you really just need to attack. You can't continue to let these Mutalists pull you back, doing a little bit of deking and dunking there, uh, and keeping him in his main, giving an opportunity for my Broodlords to finish. If we check the uh, resource count, I'm doing a pretty decent job spending minerals as Zerg. Below a thousand, which is a win in my book this late into the game. Uh, and nothing in production at the moment. He's just creating more and more Hydralis off of one base, doing his best to try to uh, ward away those Mutalists. Again, keeping them on the side here. Some of these Mutalists, three, four, five kills. If we check the income tab, it is now 33 to 14. Again, I should have much better saturation on my third, but I am happy that I have doubled his economy at this point, and he's still on one base. If I can somehow make it in here and take down all these overlords, it could be uh, the end for him. Looks like he's pushing out with these queens. He does have full energy on these three queens here, so he's going to be able to do some... Uh, some transfuses on these roaches. If we check the army count, it is 4,300 to 4,200. And now he's going to push forward. I have repositioned these spine crawlers. So five spine crawlers, five broodlords, and a bunch of roaches with mutilus coming on, uh, taking on these hydralis queens and roach mix, trying to get his position uh, so he can get a good concave and attack. And the mutilus and broodlords from the back just ripping apart the uh, hydras and the roaches. You see his army count dwindling totally here and now leaving the game. And no GG from him, but with the uh, the banter at the start, didn't really expect him to, uh, to give a GG there. But uh, one of my, I would say, only wins. I have gone about uh, maybe 5 and 10 so far as Zerg, uh, around 2,000 diamond. So pretty difficult going, but doing my best to learn a new race. Felt really good with the Mutalisks uh, in ZVZ here. I pushed forward with some initial pressure with those Lings, made him perhaps overcompensate a little bit with those spine crawlers early on and extra Lings. He did not really push out those Lings early enough. He was able to take down my natural, but uh, once those Mutos popped, I had firm control for the rest of the game, able to take down a number of his drones, and able to take down that natural he was never able to replace, and then finally getting on three bases, teching up the hive, and by the time he did push out, I had his broodlords and a ton of macro uh, capabilities, uh, and roaches there to take down his unupgraded hydras and roaches. So pretty happy with the ZVZ, again a very interesting mirror matchup. Uh, not at all like PvP, which I tend to hate. So, so far I don't hate ZVZ, uh, perhaps I will as I play more in the latter. But thanks for watching this one, hopefully you enjoyed it, take care.